of our bestest friends. He always has the most fabulous hair. Steve Davies. Um, his name is Michael Clifford. A handsome young man from Australia. Hey, and uh, uh, the throw not a shrimp on the barbie. We're yes. gonna call him. <laughs> what? It's my British Australian accent. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna give him a call. And we're gonna find out uh, if they celebrate Halloween down there in Australia, um, and what his favorite costume is, and if he likes me at all. We're gonna ask that stuff. The, no, that, to all of that those. and more when this call connects. Go. <laughs> <Bing>. <laughs> <laughs> It's an Australian ringtone. <laughs> I feel like at some point, maybe in like the 1940s, that was a that might have been a ringtone. <laughs> Bing! <laughs> the operators with the, the operators with all the wires. <laughs> all right, connecting you now. <laughs> connecting you to Michael right now. I wish that was still a thing. I wish there was still a lady I could talk to to ask for for phone calls. Does the we'll water? Get, we'll, get, we'll get to the interview. Does we'll the get, water? We'll get to Alex, it. can you do a, a Brit- uh, Australian accent? I need a. What do you want? I just need a reference of an Australian accent. Uh, like what? Do you, what do you want it to sound like? What do you need? Like uh, I don't know. Like does water? Uh, no, I can't do it. You're s- <laughs> no, no. You're, Ask if the water you're is doing it wrong. Ask Every Australian girl, when I say no, you're doing it wrong. We don't. No. We don't sound like that. I'm. I'm. We don't sound like that. Stop it! <laughs> don't touch me there. <laughs> <Can't>. <laughs> That's the sound of me scratching my facial hair. Can you grow Whoa. facial? Hair? Hey. Hey! Michael, what's up? Hey, man. Oh, well, who's talking right now? Uh, well, there's two people talking, because that's how this show fucking works, Michael. Michael? You know this. Yeah. yeah. Well, I can't tell the differences between your guys' voice. Oh, because we're American? You <laughs> racist. I'm Jack, and <laughs> and the, the, uh, the British guy is Alex. Yeah, hey, what's up, buddy? I'm out. <laughs> this, this is Alex. Would you be able to talk in a British accent the whole time? So I yes. The I absolutely will talk in a British accent the entire fucking... <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that for you. I'm going to make you work. I'm going to make you work. This is the first test. You're, you, are, you are poised to be probably the biggest band in the world next year. So uh, I'm gonna, and you're, uh, Yeah, it's true. I, don't, I can't believe you don't know that. And uh, so this entire interview, I'm going to make you work. I'm going to Katie Couric the shit out of you. All right. You don't have her in, in Australia, do you? Uh, no, we don't. Do you understand no, the I'm reference? Just gonna just, I'm just going to guess what it is. Uh, it's like it's like Crocodile Dundee, but of the news. Oh. Yeah. yeah Damn that's it. nice. It's not. It's Michael, really we not. heard you just got out of the shower. How was it? Uh, yeah, that was great. It was actually quite refreshing. Was it yeah, okay? This and, is the uh, this is the first time in the history of Full Frontal that we've had to advance the interview and been like, "Oh, are you ready to take the call?" And it's like, "Oh no, I'm just getting out of the shower." <laughs> like, <laughs> well, <laughs> I wish need to be taken care of. Yeah, sure. I, the body is a delicate thing; it needs to be washed <laughs> every day. You have to bathe it. You have to lotion. Anyway, what have you been up to, man? It's been it's been a minute. Like uh, a lot of people that that. Uh, listen to the show probably know that me and you uh worked on some music together and stuff so uh, i it's been a minute it's been a few weeks at least since i've seen you guys what have you what have you been up to yeah uh, we just came back to australia and stuff so we've been touring around here so you guys then, just kept uh, you guys just kept writing with other much less talented writers after you wrote with me <laughs> yeah you could call it that was it horrible <laughs> were you really bummed out no it was really good but <laughs> it would have been good to do some more with you which but i think we're doing some more aren't we don't give it away. You can't give the secrets away. <laughs> oh, right, right. Yo, right. Michael, how do you guys like tour Australia so much? Because I feel like when we go over there, we can only play like six shows, and that's the entire country. Like, what? Uh, do you guys like play like smaller cities, or what do you do? Oh, uh, we pretty much just do the same. We like just like the main cities and stuff. But at the moment, like touring is one direction. It's like they're playing like six shows in each place. Really? Damn. Yeah. Like what's shit. it what's it like touring with those dudes because you guys for you know for anyone who i think most of the people listening to our show know about you guys but for anyone who doesn't uh my understanding of your of your band currently was that you kind of you were a band in australia and you were you were up and coming and you kind of went from this band that was like able to sell out a decent size room to a band that is now touring with One Direction and, and playing shows for 
basically a million people a night. So what? <laughs> a million. A million people. Yeah, that's. I mean, I guess that that adds up, right? And the math's correct. I've just I've broken yeah. it down in my head. What? Honestly, though, like, because we we had a brief conversation about it, but like, I want you to I want you to put it into your own words. Like, what what that what is that like for you guys? Because you're all you're all young. Like we've we've been there as young musicians, but we've never been in that situation where we've, you know just been put in front of that many people that early in our career like how how are you guys dealing with it do you do you love it yeah. do you are you terrified do you shit yourself every night what's going on i i think it was like a first we were like super like we were super scared and it was like it was hard to get used to um to the whole like we were kind of flung into it normal bands grow like at a normal level but when we were just throwing in the deep end it was just yeah you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, it's insane. I can't, I yeah. can't imagine. We we had this conversation. I remember you saying like you were you were kind of uh, you had this conversation with me, and it was I I took I really took it to heart because basically well, as you, as you just said, it was it was we had our band had a long time to kind of come up as kids and yeah. grow into adults and and do it over a long period of time playing in front of different sized crowds. But you guys were just thrown right into it. And as how old are you? Seventeen. Yeah, you guys are. F- I mean, in the grand scheme, you guys are still your kids. Your kids, like we, I, I remember being seventeen. If I, if I was in your shoes, I'd be fucking terrified. And I was drunk. Yeah. I don't remember anything about being <laughs> seventeen. <laughs> no, I just, I, I remember having the conversation with you guys where you were, where you were all sort of like, um, you know, we went from playing normal shows and feeling like a normal band on a normal stage and and really owning it to being in front of, as I put it, a million people a night. And like suddenly you have so much more space to walk around and, yeah. and like Yeah, exactly. And people scream it no matter what you do. You know, like when you're first in like a small venue, you have to like work for the screen. Yeah, you have to you have to earn it. And, and now you kids get in are the just arena. Like, oh, that nice <laughs> yeah, you get in the arena and everything you do on stage turns into a scream somehow. I don't know how. Also I've noticed I've noticed that you are you are sort of the Jack Barricat of our of, of your band where fans, like all the fans, just sort of basically want you inside of them, men, oh. men and women. Um, and I, like, I like to think so, but I don't think. I think that's your vibe. You put out true. that vibe. That's that's your vibe. Oh, man. Well, you need to embrace that role. Do you not feel that that's your role? Um, I I like to think. So. Michael, once <laughs> Michael, once I'm dead and gone, you have to carry on my legacy. <laughs> yeah, you are the next boner. Jack Jack is the Yoda, and you are Luke Skywalker. <laughs> You must take. <laughs> you must burn her, my son. <laughs> Jesus we're, Christ! We're gonna, we're gonna strand you on Dagobah with Jack, and he's, <laughs> you're gonna have to carry Jack around in a backpack <laughs> and jump over, <laughs> j- jump <laughs> jump over logs he's and shit. Teach me. Yeah, he's gonna uh, teach you the ways. Jesus! <laughs> and I'm gonna uh, die in a hut. A sad, oh, sad man. hut. At least you don't lose your hand. Alex is the Jar Jar Binks of our band. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I like to consider yeah, myself. Bro, bro. I like to consider myself the uh, the job of the hut. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> I just get fatter and fatter and turn into a fucking slug. Ryan is the slut. Uh, Leah, <laughs> the slut. The what? slut. The slut. Princess version. Leia wasn't a slut. The slut it, version though, when she's like the the, the chained up. Uh, slave. I'm pretty sure they don't call her the slut version in the script. Anyway, uh, um, so what do you guys? What do you guys? Right. What, yeah, we we're on a tangent. What are you guys doing right now? You're working on a record, obviously. Um, I, I've I've been fortunate enough to to kind of work with you guys on that a little bit. And uh, how's how's that going? You feel good about it? You love it? Yeah, it's good. It's coming together. Like I think it's like it's taking its time because I feel like we just really want to get it released. But um, as you know, records feel like you know you just want to get them out. But um. Yeah, it's a slow process, but it's going to be worth it. Hell yeah. yeah. No, dude, I, I I, mean, you guys had a handful of songs. And again, when I first met you guys, I remember you telling me, uh, you you guys literally said like you had, what was it, like four or five songs as a band? Yeah. You guys are basically doing the impossible in in such a short amount of time, and you're doing it better than i think anyone has ever done it before so it's it's pretty oh, good it's it's pretty good i mean I, I, you know you sound so and this is what i love about you guys you sound so unsure of yourselves and like like there's like you have absolutely no plan going forward and yet i i look at you guys and i'm like yeah this is going to be the coolest biggest thing that ever happened ever oh. 
Honestly, like I, I just, I, I res, like I respect the hell out of you guys for it because it's like you almost don't even know that it's happening, and it's and it's rad. It's it's uh, it's it's good stuff. Do you guys celebrate Halloween over there? Uh, yeah, I guess. It's not as big over here as it is in America. What do you mean you guess? Wait, it's not as big. Why? Like I don't know. Just like do you, do you dress dr- up as ghouls and stuff? Not really. Really? I'm sure some people do, but but they're freaks. Least, Michael, will you be me for Halloween, and I'll be you? <sighs> Oh, I just need a boner shirt first. I'm gonna send you a boner shirt, and we're gonna shave your head, and we're gonna make you look. Be- we're gonna make you look good. I want to go into. A, I want to go into a fast round of questions, real quick. Just yeah. speed, speed, yeah. speed round. Are you ready for this? Kind of. These are all coming off the top of my head, so be warned. Yeah. Uh, what's it like growing facial hair? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't really feel it. That's because you haven't started growing no. facial hair yet, Michael. I haven't either. Have you seen my facial hair? Have you seen his ass? It's not impressive. You have like a creepy goatee, man. No, I don't. <laughs> you look like Julian Assange. <laughs> oh, I'm joking. Well, I think he's a, quite, he's, a, he's a good looking bloke, actually. He yeah. is. So are you. Have some confidence, Michael. <laughs> uh, okay, what, what color is your hair currently? Everyone wants uh, to know. It's blue at the moment. It's blue? Yeah, but by the time this interview out, goes out, it might be pink. Oh, Jesus. Respect. Can't keep up with you. I can't keep up with you. Uh, um, when I met you. Who is who is the? It was when I met you. We, your hair was just w- like white, like like very white. very blonde white. Yeah. I would call it white. white. Yeah. <laughs> oh, with an over pronounce pronunciation of the yeah, right. H. Uh, who is the most annoying member of your band? Uh, probably me. Yeah. I think I annoy everyone and myself more than <laughs> anyone else. Damn. Uh, what's your favorite all-time low song? <laughs> I don't listen to you guys. <laughs> oh, we don't believe you, There it Michael. is. There it is. Well played. Well played. No, um, I think Stella. Nice. What's it's your different. favorite all-time low song? Uh, for me, nice. probably Weightless, I guess. Nice. Yeah, but sure. this isn't your interview, so stop asking me questions. <laughs> Okay, so let's turn a question to you. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, here this could be a great segment too. We just did the rapid fire round. You give us a rapid fire round. What's up? Let's let's talk. Right. Um, would you rather <laughs> change gender every time you sneeze or be a puppy? Ah, uh, well, I mean, obviously, I would rather change gender every time I sneeze, just because that would make my life so much more interesting than it already is. I kind of want to know what it feels like to have a vagina. Don't we all, as guys? So you don't want to be a puppy at all. I don't think so. <laughs> Just totally ignores us. Listen, you don't really listen, pup- listen. Puppies have like puppies don't always have it good. Like the thing with puppies is, if if I was a puppy and I could like it could be under the in the within the understanding that like I belong to a Paris Hilton adoring family that would take care of me, then maybe puppy. But if I was just like, if it was between switching genders every time I sneeze and puppy that like lives in a sewer. <laughs> Then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm gonna go with like. Well, yeah, but if you were a bird who changed gender every time you sneeze, you'd probably live in a sewer as well. Yeah. You don't know that. The sewer people are very yeah, commonly. I, I could work it. I could have a very successful career in. Uh, <laughs> in as being, as being in, Lady Gaga in bisexual prostitution. <laughs> I don't know. What do you want from me? I could. I could. Hey, you want to fuck it. a girl? You want to fuck a guy? Come over. I got both. <laughs> Tickle my, oh tickle my, my nose, tickle my nose. Roll the dice, and we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> it could, be, could be a whole thing. It's uh, like it's like Russian. I would have never asked that question. Yeah, it's like Russian roulette. Wow. It's like Russian roulette with who you're about to have sex with. Shit. Okay, next question. Go. All right, penis. Hey, rises. hang on. Here's a question. Is this the first Sorry. interview you've ever done? No, it's not actually. I think it's the weirdest interview I've ever done. But it's <laughs> definitely not the first. Damn it! It's not an interview. It's a friendly chat. This is just friends. That's talking. being recorded for profit. And, uh, <laughs> okay. Well. I'm expecting your editing to cut out a lot of this. Nope. Ryan will. Ryan, yeah, you know, you know Ryan, don't, our don't drummer. Worry, don't worry, man. No one's going to hear any of the offensive shit we've said tonight. You know Ryan, our drummer, edits all of this. So if you're not pleased with anything, you can just you know tweet him. and. Let me put it, <laughs> let me put it this way. Your publicist is going to call you on Tuesday and be like, what the F did you just do? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I'm not joking. I'm actually expecting it. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we've gone over to Australia to tour... I've noticed that every like uh, there's a lot of people wearing onesies. I think that's more in the UK. Is it is is it like a UK Australia thing where everybody wears onesies? I think so. I I never saw anyone wear any in America. Yeah. And when I was in the UK, they were wearing them all the time. Pretty sure you get shot like, if you wear one over here. Like if you're. <laughs> it's like a law. It's yeah. You're <laughs> not you're not actually you're not legally allowed to wear a onesie in the US. It's... <laughs> 
Oh, I have an Adventure Time onesie. It's nice. Oh, really? It's cute. I, I, uh, anyway, <laughs> I guess I guess this is this has been an amazing time. I'm glad I'm glad we called you. I'm glad you did as well. I miss you. I miss you. I miss your musk. Kind of sounds like it's the end of a new. Uh, I kind of miss. I miss you. Next time, can we Facetime? Yeah. I miss the way you can smell. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. wear that. I'm gonna wear the share outfit. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna wear a onesie. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. It's gonna be great. Uh, anyway, yeah. before we go, not that you, uh, not that you really need this kind of help, but uh, what's your Twitter tag? <laughs> It's at Michael5SOS. By the way, you have more Twitter followers than us, and that makes me want to throw up. Yeah, we're going to fucking delete this interview now. I thought I I've... It, up makes in, me, it makes me want to as well. It doesn't make sense. I thought I was like the coolest person in the in the world until I met you guys, and then I was like, nah, these guys are way fucking cooler than me. Fuck. So, uh, yeah, say it one more Same time. What's your, to me. what's your Twitter tag? Michael5SOS. He's a handsome guy, everybody. Check him and his band out. Uh, damn. Thank you for doing the interview. I, I love you and I miss you guys. Please uh, give all my love Thanks to the us, give all my love to the rest of your dudes. All right, and I'll see you guys in December. Yeah. Send Thanks, nudes. Man, Thank you. you I'm so excited to see you. I'm gonna touch you guys in ways that you've never been touched. I'm gonna jump on you and <laughs> I hope you're wearing a shirt. But... <laughs> <laughs> I will be. <laughs> Uh, still recording, Michael. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, see you, dude. Thanks for coming on the show. All right, thanks so much for having me. Bye, Bye buddy. It is. That was Michael from Five S O S, which is save our seals. Seals. <laughs> five seconds of summer. Yeah, um, dude. Five seconds of summer is like what is like my entire last year. Australian like Australian people are so much cooler than anyone else ever. Yeah, dude. They really are. They just like there's a certain finesse about the way they speak and everything they say makes it sounds nice. Just funnier, more talented. Just, oh. I love him. I love him so much. They smell nice. Just love him. I love They're him always so wearing fucking onesies. I think are they all marsupials over there? Yeah. I forgot to ask him that. They're small, all, small hands smell like cabbage. They're born from the sack of a from a sack from a from a flesh pocket. What's, what they what's, come out what's, and they What's the name of a baby kangaroo? A Jeffrey? <laughs> What is it? A Joey, dude. A Joey. A Jeffrey. <laughs> Smoking a Jeffrey right now. <laughs> What's the name of a baby kangaroo? A Jeffrey? A little Joey. <laughs> Michael's like a little Joey. They're all Joeys. Just a band of four Joeys just hopping around on stage, just making little poopies. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to put some boxing gloves on their hands and make them, <laughs> make them fight Americans. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, Boopy. Happy Halloween, you fuckers. (laughs) 